In this video, I will show you how to connect a Facebook lead ads with your CRM software so that you can transfer your Facebook leads directly and automatically to your favorite CRM. In this way, you do not have to manually export the lead data from here and import into your CRM again and again. Want to learn how you can also automate this? Come with me and I will show you everything step by step. So this is the testing Facebook page I have created and assume that I'm running some school and to generate the leads for my school, I have created this Facebook lead ad form. Now in front of you, firstly, I will generate a dummy lead and then I will show you how to automatically add that lead to your favorite CRM. Well, in this video, I'm taking an example of Salesforce CRM, but in place of Salesforce, you can also send your Facebook leads to Pipedrive, HubSpot, or to Zoho CRM or to any other popular CRM by following the same process. Now to automate this whole scenario, firstly, we will have to build a connection, build an integration in Facebook lead ad form application and in Salesforce application, which I am going to do with the help of software called as Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation software. I am an existing user of Pabli Connect, so I am already logged in here, but you can create your free account in Pabli Connect in just two minutes from the sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test these kind of amazing automation now once you will log in and reach out to the dashboard of Pabli connect firstly you will have to click on this blue button that is create workflow and then provide a random name to your workflow to your automation okay so i am directly pasting the name as sync facebook leads with your crm automatically and again the crm could be anything i'll show you the whole process step by step okay in this folder i will select this main workflows because I want to add my automation workflow in this folder only now clicking on create and after that you will find two boxes so these boxes are actually called as trigger an action and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever something happen in your first application then automatically do this in your next application okay so in this way you need to always choose your applications in this trigger and the action window in which you are building an automation okay so according to our use case i want that whenever any new lead is arrived via facebook lead ad application okay give me a second let me select the same application then automatically sync this facebook lead with your favorite crm application okay so in this way as an action application we can select any crm software let me search for hubspot firstly all right yes we do have the hubspot crm as a part of our integration library of Pab connect we can also search for the salesforce all right you can notice the salesforce is also available how about i search for zoho crm okay so in this way you can search your favorite crm application and transfer your facebook leads okay so as i have told you initially that in this particular video i will take an example of salesforce if you want to learn how to transfer the leads in hubspot crm well i will attach the video in my i button you can actually check that video okay so the application is already selected and now the idea here is firstly i will connect a facebook lead ad with the public connect and will capture all the lead data here in the dashboard and then i will connect Pabli connect with the salesforce crm application and in this way i am going to automate this whole process all right so let us connect facebook lead ad with the Pabli connect okay so firstly click on connect then click on add a new connection click on connect with facebook lead ad button and then you will have to provide the access of your facebook account but because i'm already logged in in my facebook account so here you can notice the authorization is successful directly and my facebook account is also connected and since we are connected here you can notice whatever the pages are available inside my facebook account have started visible here okay so i'm taking an example for this school page that is saint james higher education okay so how about i search for the same page here all right so i have selected the same and as soon as the page is selected whatever the lead generation form are associated with this page will start visible here okay so let me show you the same form all right so this is my registration form which i am going to select from here and let me even show you this form by visiting my page okay so simply clicking on this meta business route and from the left hand sidebar you will find an option of all tools okay directly click on that option 
after that you will find its instant form option at the end again click on that and in this way you will be redirected to the lead generation form page okay so this is the instant form and here you can notice the same page is selected and here you will notice all the forms okay so give me a second i'll show you all the forms all right so we have reached to lead at forms and these are the several forms registration form copy magnet brain sign up form the registration form once again and a new lead at form okay so i'll work in this specific form for now i'm going to close this form coming back and now i'll directly click on this button save and send test request and you will see that it will start waiting for the webhook response okay so basically it is asking to do a test the submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response okay and here a test submission or record means generation of a new lead via our facebook lead ad form but in this case since i'm not running any live facebook ad so that is why i'll make use of facebook lead ad testing tool okay so you can actually visit this documentation so that you can get the link of that facebook lead ad testing tool give me a second i'll show you everything so this is the documentation and i would recommend you to kindly read this documentation in case of any confusion and you can visit this testing tool directly from here okay simply click on that hyperlink and you will be redirected to this lead ads testing and here you can notice all the pages are visible so let me search for the same school page and as soon as i select that all the forms which are associated with this page will be visible okay so my form is already selected clicking on this preview form button and in this way my facebook lead ad form will be opened up well the same form is already open in some different tab okay so how about i close the same facebook lead ad form from here all right so what i will do is i will submit this form and as soon as the submission is successful you will notice that it will give us a response okay so give me a second city will be bhopal all right in which class you want to take admission is third email address is dummy at the rate publitudes.com the full name is dummy user and here i am also providing a dummy phone number clicking on next and then i'll click on submit and as soon as the submission successful here you will notice that a response will be received and that response will consist of all the lead data okay waiting for the response fingers crossed and here you can notice the response is received now i will show you the details one by one so here you can notice the same city name has got captured the same class has got captured here we also have the same dummy email address the dummy phone number i'm really sorry the dummy full name and the dummy phone number and even we also have the time of submission the date and time of submission okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between facebook lead ad form and pabli connect is working absolutely absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time someone will submit this facebook lead ad form the details will be captured via pabli connect instantly because this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time and once you have the lead data inside the dashboard of pabli connect now using pabli connect you can send these leads to different crm application and not just to the crm application you can also send this data to google sheets ms excel or email marketing application or anywhere okay so currently according to my use case i'll proceed with salesforce only now i'll be selecting the action even that is create a record now what type of record you want to create i'll show you so in this video i want to create a contact in salesforce so i'll select the same and i'll show you how you can select now simply clicking on add new connection click on clicking on this connect with salesforce and then you will have to provide the access of your salesforce account but again i am already logged in in my salesforce account in a, into a different tab okay so instead of asking me for the access it is asking me for the permission so i have provided the same and in this way my salesforce application will be immediately connected with the pabli connect all right so you can notice it is connected and now it is asking the salesforce object so as i have told you that i want to create a contact so i will be searching for the same well i'm really sorry for the spelling mistake and here we have the salesforce object as contact in place of contact let's say you want to generate a lead so you can search for the same and now as for the salesforce object it will ask you lot of other details like the account id the last name first name and lot of other details which are actually required for creating a contact in 
any CRM. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to provide the details only into the imported, only into the required fields because I have captured only the limited details, the basic details. Okay, so I have this email, name, last name. Okay, so I'm going to provide the same. So let's say it is asking for the last name and the first name individually. Okay, but I have the full name only, not the last name and first name individually. Okay, so what I can do either I can split these two values that is first name and last name individually or I can provide the full name only in both the fields okay so firstly I'll proceed with the same that is with full name only and then in the last I'll show you how to split such kind of values in such type of cases okay so moving further and the interesting thing here is I'm not going to manually copy any of the detail and paste below again and again I'm going to map these details okay and not just into the Salesforce whatever the CRM software you are selecting here you can easily map this data okay so how mapping can be performed simply click on this field and you will find the above data the same data here in the drop down now simply select that data and in this way the value will be mapped but you must be thinking what is this mapping okay so whatever the details I'm mapping here these details will be replaced automatically when our automation will work in real time in next time okay so I'm repeating this thing once again that the details which we are mapping here will be replaced automatically okay and just in case if I will provide any detail manually let's say I add India here manually so what will happen with every new detail a contact will be created but that contact will have the same value because we are manually adding this data okay so this is the difference in providing the details via mapping and via manually okay now it is asking for several other details but I am looking for the phone number field as well as for the email id field okay so here we have the mobile number field okay so let me map the same lastly i am searching for the email field and finally i have found that searching for the email address directly with the help of at the rate and in this way i think i have mapped all the details all the important and required details okay so how about i click on this button save and send test request and wait for the response to received first and if that response is positive that means the data the contact has been created successfully inside our salesforce dashboard okay so refreshing it and here you can notice the same contact with the same first name and last name has been created let me click here and here we also have the first name last name we also have the city the email address the phone number we also have the date okay so in this way with the help of pably connect automation software you can sync your incoming Facebook leads with any of your favorite CRM software that too in real time without doing anything manually now why I'm saying this because once you have created this automation this workflow inside Pably connect after that you do not have to do anything manually okay simply set this automation and sit back and relax and Pably connect will take care of all the tasks in the back and you do not have to do anything manually okay and just in case if you want to access this two step workflow inside your public connect account i will also attach the link of my workflow into my description box so simply click on this link and sign up for free into the public connect and then you will be able to access the same workflow inside your public connect account that too for free and remember i have told you that i'll show you the way that how you can split these two values individually in such type of cases so you just need to add one more step before your salesforce step so basically i'm going to make use of text formatter feature of Pably connect using which you can actually split your text okay so this is the feature and here in the action event I'll search for the same that is split text okay now simply click on this connect button and it will be connected immediately and now you just need to provide the text to split okay so again I am going to map that text okay so here I want to split my full name so I have provided the same and then it will ask you the separator so in this this particular case I want to separate these two values with a space okay for space there is a syntax so I have added the same and now it will ask you that what segment you want whether you want the first segment or the last segment okay so how about I go with all clicking on this button and in this way you will get the full name individually basically the first name and the last name value okay so here you can notice we have splitted values and now we can easily map this new data 
here in place of the last name and the first name let me even show you the same how you can do that okay so did you notice that how recent data is visible in place of last name i will map this user and in place of first name i will add this dummy okay so how about we click on this button once again okay so give me a second let me take you directly to that button all right so let's click on this button one last time and here you can notice the response is received let me once again refresh my dashboard all right i will have to go back into this contact section all right we are actually into the contact section only and here you can notice one more contact is created and this time it has the first name as dummy and last name as user and rest of the details are same okay so i hope you have understood everything if you want to learn more about syncing your facebook leads with different c rm application well again i will attach one more automation tutorial into this i button you can check that video tutorial and automate your process not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video